you call me. Let's just get ready to do my uh, latest review for the championship week in the NCAA. Just want to let you know, just because a guy puts on a shirt, a tie, jacket, let's get it all together here. These handicappers all do this, so I just try and look like them. But I'm just going to wear a t-shirt. But I do have a shirt, a tie, and a jacket on. None of them match. It's kind of on purpose. Hey, it's St. Patty's Day, too. Put this on as well. So now we're all set. Welcome to your sports betting internet community. Let's review. ATS Consultants, ATSWins.com, Mr. Ryan. Let's go over his picks for the week. They say they rule the month of March. Let's go over them. March 11th, they had uh, Utah over Chicago. Uh, that lost. In hockey, hockey's really tough, but they, they're the experts, so uh, they had Detroit... Chicago, and the game was going to go over at lost. And Anaheim over Phoenix lost as well. Now, those weren't rated plays, but let's round them off and rate them to three units each because certain handicappers tell you how to manage your money. Hey, you work nine to five. They tell you how to manage it, but that's fine. They say it's like an investment thing like the stocks. March 12th, five units on Marshall, loss. Five units or four units on Wyoming, lost three units on California. That was a winner. So at that point, you're down uh, nine units, plus the three from the day before. On March 13th, that's when the tournament really went into effect. They had uh, six units on Virginia, was a loser. Four units on Marquette, winner. Four units on Washington State, winner. Four units on Boise State, winner. Three units on Florida State, winner. Then if you look at their hockey picks... They had uh, L.A. and Nashville, and Phoenix, one loss, one won. At that point, you're plus nine and minus one in hockey. But if we just stick to the basketball, you break even. But remember, you got to pay the juice, not to mention the other units that weren't rated on the 11th. On the 14th, 10-unit play on Michigan State, winner. Eight units on Western Michigan, loser. Six units on St. Joe's, winner. Uh, they had Oklahoma State, which, depending on where you got the line, it was a push. They also lost on Utah State and Western Michigan. Uh, round those all out, again, zero units. You're still paying juice. So they come back with a super play on Saturday. Conference game, tourney game of the year. Ten units on Fullerton. It won. So now maybe you go back up a little bit. Then they had Illinois, it won. They had Stanford, was a winner. Then Oklahoma, a loser. And Akron, a loser. All in all, you're probably up maybe seven units after you pay them. So is it worth it? Well, guy kind of got hot a little bit towards the end, it might be. Oh, he did have hockey games too. The Dallas Stars, lost. Phoenix, lost. And the over in the New, or, uh, New York Islanders game. Uh, that's negative 10 units plus your juice. So I would say stay away from for hockey. College basketball, they seem to be doing a little bit, you know. We'll see how it comes tourney time. They're going to give them some picks for the NIT before we get to the tourney. I will keep a close on these guys so you, the sports better, don't look like a jackass like me. But I do have a shirt and a tie and a jacket. Happy St. Patty's Day hat. Hey, if I can dress up, maybe I can pick games. Not gonna happen.